good morning. I'm going to draw a quick mandala here, starting with a circle, radius 3, and then we'll draw a couple regular polygons, and GeoGebra will snap to, so that point is, you can see, 0, 0,30 on the y-axis, 3 on the, sorry, 0 on the x-axis, y on the 3 on the y. It's early. And then we can draw a couple. We want to get perfect symmetry here. And so in order to do that, we are going to have a bisector. Where are we here? A perpendicular bisector to this segment. And it'll go right through the center. And then we'll do that again. And then we can draw another regular polygon at the intersection of this point and that point for... And now we have a perfect octagon uh, if we wanted to join these segments, which we'll do here. Let's join these and just keep joining like that. And basically through just rotating objects at specific degrees and maybe draw a couple tangent lines here we can see a, a nice mandala start to take shape tangent lines there we are so we want to draw a tangent line there and then another one here and then another one here and we can see these are just more squares and we can draw a larger octagon oops there we go we've already done that one that's just going to be a copy all right and you can see a nice little mandala taking shape just by drawing these things. And if we wanted to fill in these different regions with different colors, it can start to look quite pretty. And then we can draw another polygon or another circle with a different radius if we want and do another one or if we wanted to maybe get rid of this circle and then draw a circle center through a point here there and then can be inscribed inside of these squares you can see already that it's looking quite beautiful and a long long time ago and we can just continue on this process drawing more and more uh, right angles 45 degree angles 60 degree angles tangents bisectors uh, perpendicular lines inscribed circles and circumscribed uh, shapes and it starts to take on this sort of mystical form which a long long time ago I think is quite clear why people would consider this sacred geometry uh, and then if you wanted to copy and paste all of this ag again color in these little parts with different colors you'll see this in mosques especially around the world uh, and then also of course in hippie sort of artwork and these types of psychedelic designs and it's again called sacred geometry a lot of times but it's really just geometry and so I urge everybody to get a copy of GeoGebra and just kind of fool around see what they can come up with it's really quite simple or if you have a compass and a ruler same basic idea okay have a good day